All right, so let's get started with Unity as a crash course goes. Here's Unity. Launching that up. And sometimes it comes with up with a pretty level. Mine's here. So I've done a few projects already in Unity. Uh, what needs to happen is you need to create a new project. You can go and go File, Create New Project inside the Unity. And you can set this project to be somewhere on the desktop. I'm going to make it a new folder and call this, uh, I'm just going to keep this organized. So we have to make projects in order to take advantage of Unity. And here I'm just going to use a standard assets package. Basically what this is, is some built-in scripts, um, some textures, some this and that. And it's just going to import that into this folder. So take advantage of that. Now the nice thing about Unity is it's very much like Maya. I mean, the navigation is exactly like Maya. So that's a really nice thing. Most game engines, keep in mind, are a big pain to kind of learn in the fact that now you not only have to worry about the Maya's navigation, but here in Unity you would have to relearn that over. But the nice thing about this is it closely matches. So, um, that being said, if the only thing that's different is instead of the command key, it's alt. Okay, so alt is the only thing that's different on here. And here's your project window. Just to kind of throw something in here, let's create game object, create cube. So we have a reference point to kind of zoom around. And it's been a couple days since I pro played around with this. There we go. So Alt, left button will rotate. Alt, middle button pans. Alt, right mouse zooms. Okay, just like Maya, just with the Alt. The only thing, other. Th thing that's kind of broke well it's just my mouse but the middle mouse button kind of is a little wonky sometimes all right so the, our idea here is to get that level into here okay so we can walk around it okay now just kind of look around uh, see how the interface looks we're gonna be looking at a couple things in here but not a whole lot the lessons very simple, very watered down, and I'll show you after I get done with this lesson a good place to get started with Unity. Okay, that way you can jump into the other one if you wanted to and learn Game Engine. Okay, so keep in mind, um, I now have to kind of really clean up house. Okay, before I even get into the engine, um, these pillars—they're out there. That's good. Pillar one. All this trimming and molding is all named P cube four. For simplicity's sake, I'm going to say close your eyes for a second, and um, I'll just say this is all organized already, and we're just going to jump into the engine. That being said, I'm going to make this into one giant part. Okay. There we go. Normally, I wouldn't do that. But just to keep it simple, we're going to treat all assets as one separate or one giant part. Huh. 
How about I'm gonna name that pillars and trim. There we go. Room one. So pillars and trim room one. Walls. And that should be good. Uh, next thing I gotta do is make sure that my hierarchy is clean. F on the keyboard to zoom in. And you can see that I have a lot of stuff. All the stuff would have got inputted into Unity. Delete by type history. There we go. I got two solid meshes. I either got pillars trim room one or walls. Okay, and there we go. So now what I'm going to do is export all and I'm going to choose this format it's called FBX. FBX is a, a format that allows you to jump between programs in Maya. Uh, there's, it's becoming a very big industry standard for FBX. So let's say I save a scene in Maya and I want to jump over to 3D Studio Max. I can save it, open it up in 3D Studio Max, and all my bones and animation will be there. It's very neat. Okay, so this gets saved under that folder that I made on the desktop under Assets, Standard Assets. And I'm going to make a level or a level folder here. Level 1. And I'm going to choose to do this in units and the skill factor is going to be one okay good now keep in mind there is one flaw to the unity game engine and that is scale it is an awful conversion from going to Maya to unity it is horrible when I launch unity uh, you'll see that that level popped in here and in the next video I'll show you how to bring it over to here